So today I'm going to compare the small rig 99 to the newer um, same capacity uh, V-mount battery with some FX30s. We'll see how long the battery lasts. Okay, both have a full Sony, genuine Sony battery in them. This one is at 98% and the small rig is at 100. So there we go. Let's see what happens. All right, just over three hours in. Uh, both are still recording just fine. Again, settings all the same. And looking at the small rig, you can see it's at 70% and the newer is at 72. And also to note, the small rig actually started at a full 100, was the newer, I think, was at like 98 or something. All right, here we are at hour eight and 43 minutes. Newer is at 20, was that 23%? Yep. And small rig is at 17. Both cameras are showing full batteries still. All right, over 10 hours. Um, small rigs at 3% and newer is at 8% so 5% more also uh, I do kind of like how it has this little blinking uh, battery icon uh, versus a little tiny red thing getting smaller um, still pretty happy all right it says 0% on the small rig but still showing it's plugged in, so I guess there's a little bit of juice left. Over here, seven percent, um, and this is now almost ten and a half hours, non-stop. So, what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug the small rig and see how that battery's doing. So, if you drop out the power, still at a hundred percent, and that is great news feel the temperature actually it feels pretty cool nice good job sony all right so uh on the small rig lasted just about 10 and a half hours but still has a full sony battery inside so you figure maybe another 90 minutes so you have a 12 hour day over here we have six percent left so I guess I just let it keep running. So 10 hours and 32 minutes, we went from 7% all the way to zero. It's a pretty big drop uh, from seven to zero for sure. Uh, it still is saying it's drawing power from there, but nevertheless, what's happened? So let me unplug. And after unplugging it, it says it's at 99%. So 10 and a half hours here too.